a blog or a web blog is a wonderful metacognitive tool. You can use it with your learners to encourage them to reflect on their learning um, or to uh, journal or, or evaluate. So if you come into a course through the eyes of an admin or an editing teacher, with editing turned on, uh, the first thing you want to do is add the blog menu block. That will make it very easy for you or your learners to add a new entry or view entries uh, throughout a course uh, or at a site level depending on the, uh, the blog preferences. The other place you can, uh, you can blog is via your user profile. If you go to the blog tab, add a new entry and away you go. So we'll just put something in there. Like so, um, you can choose the uh, availability going to anyone on the site or draft to yourself or perhaps uh, publish to, uh, to users at a course level. You can choose to use official tags and you can define your own tags as well. Not to forget, you can also attach a file, it could be an image, um, a video, a document, some other piece of media that relates to your blog entry to share with your learners or your, your colleagues. So you save that and it's done. Uh, if we go home again through the eyes of an admin you can uh, further granularize blog availability under the site admin block, security, site policies and if you scroll your ways down to blog visibility. The default setting there is all site users can see all blog entries. You can in fact uh, make your blogs uh, readable to the world uh, or you could, you could uh, lock it down somewhat um, to members of a given course or a group or uh, you know people can only blog for their own, uh, for their own viewing or else disable the system completely.